Good morning, this is Alif News. I'm Manha. Let's have a look at the important headlines. World News China will gradually rise its retirement age for the first time since 1950s as the country confronts an aging population and a dwindling pension budget. North Korea has for the first time offered a glimpse into the uranium enrichment facility that produces material for its nuclear weapons. Sandbox are prepared, uh, being prepared in Austria. Reservers have been emptied into Czech Republic and flash floods are expected in Poland. As the forecast is one of the days of potentially catastrophic rainfall. The Fashion Commission is organizing an investment tour in British capital on 17th September, coinciding with the completion of London Fashion Week. Billionaire and engineer have been become the first non-professional crew to perform a spacewalk on the commercial mission to pull off a rescue maneuver. The UK government this week announced an overhaul in visa entry requirements for visitors from next year. Saudi News The Saudi Data and Artificial Intelligence Authority and the Ministry of Education signed a memorandum to launch AI scholarship programs during Global AI Summit. Civil Defense Issues warning for thunderstorms across Saudi Arabia. Saudi Chambers Federation expands national committees from 37 to 60. The Saudi Red Crescent Authority saved the life of an Indonesian children who suffered cardiac arrest within the sacred presence of Al Masa. National Center for Environment Compliance launches a project to assess persistent organic pollutants. School News Saudi National Day will be celebrated on the 19th September with a grant program. The auxiliary exams end on 17 September, Tuesday. Stay informed, stay focused, thank you, have a nice day.